Hi, it's Mike Ferry. Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. The week of October 15th, it's hard to believe that this year is almost gone. And I hope each of you understands the importance of working through the end of the year. The year does not end on October 1st. It ends on December 31st. Uh, last week, Sabrina and I were in Moscow, Russia. I was doing a three-day event, the Complete Listing Workshop. We had 400, 405 agents in the room. I tell you, it was an incredible audience, great experience for us, and it's a great experience for them, hopefully. On day two, we had four people approach me. Uh, there was only four or five that spoke English out of the 400 plus people. And they walked up early in the morning and I said, what can I do for you? And they were, like most of you, very, very professionally dressed, sharp people. And, and they said to me in a broken English, how do we master a good productive schedule? Which I think all of us understands is a never ending nonstop battle that all of us have to fight. And I said to them, and I wanna read you the quote, I said, you have to master not letting distractions run your day or run your life. I said, because the truth is, real estate people are the masters of letting distractions run their day and run their life. And they kind of looked at me with a little bit of a head tilt, like it was a question mark, and one of them said, well, I, I'm not sure I understand what you mean by letting distractions run our life. I said, well, let's, let's do this. I said to each one of them, what time do you show up in the morning for work in the office? One said 7.30, one said, I think, 9.30, and then two said 10. I said, okay, when you get to the office, what is your purpose? What are you trying to accomplish? And they all said the same thing. We're trying to find people that want to buy or sell homes. I said, okay, so your business in Russia is the same as our business in North America. I said, all right, you get to the office, nine o'clock. You fiddle with your computer, you check your voicemail, you check your emails quickly, you get yourself ready to go to work. What happens next? They said, what do you mean? I said, well, <clears throat> do you have a starting point to the productive side of your day. They said, what do you mean? I said, do you have a point, nine o'clock, 9.30, that you start your day, whether it be role play and practice, whether it be answering messages from the day before, doing lead follow-up, prospecting, do you have a particular thing you have to do? And they said, no. I said, well, then what do you think we should do? They said, well, based on knowing Mike Ferry, we should prospect. I said, okay. What distractions get in the way of you doing your job between say nine o'clock and noon on a normal day. And they weren't sure because of the accent and the translation what I was saying. I said, well, let me give you an example. Emails, you're sitting at your office, you're ready to prospect, call an expired listing. Your computer's on, an email pops up. You look at the email, that's a distraction. And then you choose to read it, that's a bigger distraction. Then you decide to answer it, and that's the biggest distraction. And by the time you press send, and before you even can get your finger away from send, they respond. Another distraction. I said, you have your phone sitting on your desk, and you get a text, and your eyes look down at the text. Okay, that's a distraction. Your cell phone rings, and of course the phone number comes up. Oh, do I want to talk to that person? I don't think so. That's a distraction. Um, agents walk by while you're sitting in your office preparing. You got your headset on, got your scripts in your hand, you've already role played in practice, you're ready to go to work, and an agent walks by and said, is your listing on Banana Street still available? That's a distraction. Deals sitting on your desk, all right? You've got three deals pending, the files are sitting on your desk. Why are they on your desk? You have four listings, those files are sitting on your desk. Why are they sitting on your desk? You're inviting more distractions. You're looking for something to distract you. You pick up the phone, you call up for sale by owner, you look down at a transaction, oh my gosh, I gotta call Mrs. Smith, and then you forget what you're talking about to the for sale by owner, that's a distraction. Not having a schedule is a distraction. I wrote down the next. Not having any strong goals that keep you working all day long is a distraction. Complacency is a distraction. Not time blocking is a distraction. Well, I went through about 10 of these with them and they were kind of looking at me like, oh my gosh, I, I'm sorry that I asked. 
and I understood that response. So then I said, really, <clears throat> the ability to manage your time really comes down to our ability to understand two words in the English language. So I want to, I'm going to ask you, the four of you now, to tell me what these two words are in Russian. And it was kind of cute because I gave them the two words in English. They gave me back the two words in Russian. And believe me, I did not understand what they were saying. But their body language told me. I said, here's word number one if you want to master your schedule. Learn to the word focus 100% on the task at hand when you're supposed to be doing your job. Focus. Which means you have your cell phone turned off. You have your iPad turned over. Okay, You clean off your desk of the files and the listings that you have. You focus on the job at hand because there's nothing there to distract you. You put a stop sign up on the edge of your desk. It just says stop. So when an agent walks by and sees the word stop, they don't stop and bother you. Okay, Or you put your headset on and you turn away from the aisle where an agent could walk up and distract you. Focus. Then I said the second word is the word discipline. The ability to be disciplined to do your job. And let's be honest, discipline is hard. But then I said to these four people, all right, do you work five days or six? And they all said they work five. If you could be focused on your schedule from the time you arrive until noon, three days out of five, what would happen to your production? And they all smiled and said it would go up. What if you had the discipline to follow your schedule from the time you arrive until noon, four days out of five, what would happen? Our production would be even bigger. I said, would you like it to be bigger? They said, yes, focus and discipline. I said, take the word focus and put it on a three by five card. And on the back of that card, write the word discipline and put a copy of that card in your pocket, in your purse, in your wallet, in your briefcase. Tape one to your computer, which is turned off. Put one on the bathroom mirror. Discipline, focus. Discipline, focus. Because once we drive those two words deeply into our subconscious mind, you're going to start becoming more focused on the schedule and you'll be more disciplined to accomplish what's on the schedule. Well, I think I probably overwhelmed them in about 10 minutes. And I may have overwhelmed some of you. The advantage you have you can watch this message twice a day, three times a day for the next seven days. The name of the game is time management. Now, here's why. After doing the fun work that I do with all of you for 43 plus years, still today, the number one problem for the average real estate person is time management. And that is because, of course, we're independent contractors. And as long as we're independent contractors and don't think like an employee or don't have strong goals that force us to work every day and the discipline and focus to follow a schedule, as long as we don't have that, guess what? Time management will always be your problem. But even the best agents in the world, and we're very lucky to work with many, many, many of the best agents, they still will tell me, I need to always be working on my time management. So remove the distractions, okay? Once this particular little film that you're watching is done, look at your work environment. How many distractions do you have that are inviting you not to participate in your schedule? Master your schedule, master your business, master your production, you master your life. Thanks for watching. Look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great non-distraction week this week. Thank you.